the Computer Essentials Getting Started Bite Sized video for the M2 Computer Essentials unit in ICDL. The areas covered in this video have been displayed in the slide, and it's a short one, and we do hope you enjoy it. Go over. So, you're on Microsoft um, Windows 10, which is what we're going to be covering, and it's going to be asking your test. You've got the taskbar right at the bottom, so you've got the start button. You've got your search box just here. You'll see in my example, I just the magnifying glass just there, but you may find it's the longer ask me anything um choice. You've got your notification area just down here. Um see any of your notifications that pop up. And we've got the taskbar just here where any application or any shortcuts I mean so if we opened up Microsoft um Office, uh, sorry Microsoft Word, it would be placed just here. So our tasks that are running. And we have the desktop just in the middle we can um put um, files and put shortcuts and um, have the recycle bin available to us as well. Just keep in mind that in your test you may be asked to um, declare what an icon is. So you'll see icon is either a shortcut or it's just a normal file that will open an executable file to go um, for instance if it was a word file you would double click it and it would open. So that's um, declaring what an icon is. Logging on off um, a computer. So Really important to be aware because in your test you will highly likely be asked to point out where would I go to um, shut down or sign out of my computer. First point is always start button just there. You may also be asked to lock your computer too. So there's two ways you can do that and, and dependent on what the, the question may ask you. So you go, you'll see your account and you can click the lock button. But also it may ask you to do the keyboard combination which is holding your Windows key and pressing L on the keyboard that will also lock your um, computer and it's a recommendation for anyone on the call whenever you're using any computer not just on campus but any of the public um, environment or when even if you're leaving your desk for just making a quick cup of tea or anything make sure you lock your computer so the next slides up to slides 31 um, goes through several key areas of using Microsoft Windows and also goes through using um, a word processing application too. So what I'm going to do, instead of going through each slide, I'm going to demonstrate some of the key areas of each slide. So once you see this video, um, you'll have a bit more of a knowledge um, and understanding, particularly going into your test. But also you can refer back to the slides um, as well, just for the um, instructions for additional um, support and um, revision too. So the first thing I want to show you that may pop up in your test is where you would go in the Windows environment to see the task view. Task view is located just here, this icon just here, the task view. is two square boxes and a line just there. And if you click that, you'll have the option to see your tasks that are open at the moment. And you'll also have the ability to create a new desktop as well. So that's an example of... If you have a load of icons in your desktop and you need more space, you can create a brand new one and you'll have another area where you can add shortcuts and you can drag and drop um, that you need to use. You'll notice um, just here that we've got three active tasks going. We've got the File Explorer, we've got WordPad and we've got the Screencast-O-Matic which I'm using for these recordings. So if we were to click one of them, let's click WordPad for example. There we go. We can get into it just like that. 